Hello to the great, big, beautiful world and all its great, wonderful, amazing people. My name is Justin and thank you guys for stopping by here today. The first video of 2022, that's right, 2021 is officially in the books. It's gone. It's out of here. It's done for. We are starting off a new year with a new video and I wanted to come in here. This is how I wanted to start off my new year is because I have been thinking here lately a lot about what I do exactly with my videos, what type of content I've created in the past, and the way that I want to move forward in doing so. The sad thing is, is that in the past, I have had opportunities to sit down and talk to you guys. I have had opportunities to go to different places, to speak to different people, to talk about different things, and I've always let things slip because I was either too lazy to do it, because I felt like I needed time off, because of my work schedule, or this or that. Life gets in the way sometimes, and and I'm not saying that life won't get in the way sometimes in 2022. It is life. I'm not saying that there aren't sometimes I won't want to be lazy and just not upload a video on TikTok or to talk about anything on here on YouTube with you guys. But I've also come to learn that if I never put forth my best effort in something, if I never try hard in anything, if I never give it my 100% my all, the best that I possibly can do with what life has given me, what time life has given me to do such things then it's never going to be anything. And that is why my whole entire YouTube career, I guess you could say, all the way back to, I think, 2013, when I first started my first YouTube channel, uploaded a few videos. It was gameplay channel stuff that I didn't even really care for myself, so I ended up deleting that channel. The next channel was like a food review thing. And while one video did actually pretty well, I actually decided to delete that because I didn't care for the way I looked doing that stuff as well. I don't know what was going on, what phase I was going through at that moment in life, but it's just, I look back at it and I'm like, this is not what I want to be remembered for. So I deleted that channel and I deleted those videos and then we made more content and I deleted those videos and it's just been a constant uphill, downhill thing because I, I never can just make my mind up and stick with one thing. And as much as I'd like to act or believe or think that I got it all together, the truth of the matter is, is I don't. And I'm just a human being like everybody else and I'm having to figure out things as I go. But what I hope to give back is to instill a type of motivation and inspiration through things that happen to me personally in my own life that might help you in your life. And I've got a few different projects and things that I'm working on this year but in between those projects, I want to still do videos like this. I still want to do the mundane, everyday stuff. I still want to talk and try to give some type of motivation out there in the world. Because the world is a crazy place. Things happen, and one minute you're on top of the world, and the next thing you know, you, you're, you're at the bottom wondering how you're going to crawl and get yourself back out. And 2021 may have been a great year for some people, and 2022 may be getting ready to be the most devastating year of their life. Or it could be vice versa. 2021 could have been a horrible year, but 2022 is the year that you pick yourself up and you get back on track. It's just the way life is. It makes you laugh. It makes you cry. And if we can set aside our differences, if we can set aside our similarities sometimes, sometimes that gets in the way, believe it or not. If we learn that we all are floating around on this rock in this universe together, trying to get by day by day, and we all look to each other instead of judging each other for our different little quirks and things and our differences and opinions because we all come from different walks of life. I think that we can try to make this world a better place for each other. And when I do these videos, you don't have to listen to them. You, you can listen to what I say and you're not getting anything that I say. And you could go watch somebody else, whoever your favorite YouTuber or TikToker is or whoever it may be. But hopefully there is somebody out there that this stuff does break through. And I wanted to come out here and talk to you guys today, not just so much about myself, but I wanted to ask you, what are you going into 2022 with? What are your goals? What are your dreams? What are your hopes? What is 2022 going to do for you? And you may tell yourself, well, I'm planning on losing weight this year. Go for it. I'm planning on starting my own business. Go for it. I'm planning on starting a YouTube channel. Go for it. I'm planning on making movies and writing books. I'm planning on doing more vlogs and podcasts. And I'm planning on actually trying to help the rest of the world out. Go for it. Whatever it is out there that you want to do, go for it. Your only limitation is your own mindset. And there's somebody out there today that probably did have a horrible 2021. And you probably feel that today, the start of 2022, you're further away from your dreams and goals than you were at the start of 2021. 
And I want to encourage that person that's watching this video to keep pushing forward, to keep going after it. Because I'm telling you, 2022 could be that year. It doesn't matter how you start off. What matters is how you finish in the end. My wife's got a goal this year. Um, she loves Disney World. My wife's thing is Disney World. We don't. She's done been twice in her life. We took her for her first time uh, back when me and her were engaged. Me, my mom, and dad. We all went. We had a great time. And last year, um, after the pandemic, everything kind of settled down a little bit, and things started getting somewhat decently back to normal. We decided to go again since we didn't go for our honeymoon in 2020. And of course she loved it. She had a blast. She missed the place. I saw her cry a little bit and we laughed and had made some good memories. And so her goal this year is to make two trips to Disney World. Even if I can't go to one of them, her and my mom are planning something, uh, maybe just a short weekend to go and then have a big trip towards the end of the year. And she looked at herself with such a daunting task, knowing the money it costs to go and do such a thing. And her first mindset was not, I can't do this because it costs a lot. It was, okay, how do I make the money to be able to do so? Because she asked me, she sat down and talked with me. She said, are you going to be mad at me if I do go for two trips, even if you're not able to go for one of them? And I told her, I said, no, I said, go for it. I said, that's you. That's your money. That's your life. You do your thing with that because I want my wife to be happy. I want her to be as happy as possible. And, um, not to mention, I'm also, with my work schedule and the way I travel, I, I'm not always wanting to go somewhere. It, it's just not me. Me and her are kind of a little different on that. I do like a trip. I do like a vacation. I do like to go somewhere, especially Disney World, and see different things and get to do different things at least once a year. You know, I at least try to do that at least once a year. She, If it, she, if it was her way, she'd go every weekend. Um, so she asked herself, how can I make more money? What extra jobs can I pick up? What extra routines, what things I could do? What, what's a way of my lifestyle that I could change? What's some ways I can save money? You know, what, how can I pick this up? How can I make this a possibility? And that mindset is where it all starts. I want to write stories and I want to make my first film that hopefully helps some people. Even if it's a short film that I put on here on YouTube, that's only 15, 20, 30 minutes long. I want to tell stories and I want to share with you things that happened in my life that inspires people, that helps people, that motivates people. Because for so long, I kept telling myself, what is so important about my story? What is so important about what I'm trying to tell the world? What, what, what's so important about what I went through? Because like I said, life is life and everybody has things that they go through. What makes yours so special? And, and I, I've spent so long listening to heroes of mine, people that were Navy SEALs, people that were famous football players, people that were famous musicians and singers and dancers and all these people that broke through barriers, things that I can't even imagine. Wealthy business owners, people who started out with nothing and they made an empire. And I'm thinking to myself, compared to these people, who am I? Who am I to sit here and believe that I have any type of story whatsoever and I finally stopped myself. I said, I got to quit talking to myself like that. I got to because the truth of the matter is, is that I, I, I am human. I did go through some things and maybe the whole world won't get something out of it. Maybe not everybody's going to like it. Maybe not everybody's going to think it's their thing or, or going to get inspired or motivated by it. But somebody out there will. And if I keep telling myself and shutting this stuff off, it keeps me from being able to help that person. Even if it's one, two, three, four, five, even if it's a very small amount of people. I want to know that I did something right in the world. And that's one of my biggest goals for 2022. So that mindset, like my wife has for how can I make more money? Okay. How can I write better? How can I put my ideas on film in the right way with the right message? What, how can I create the best story? How, how can I stay true to real things that happen in life? How, how do I do this? How do I speak better? How do I do better podcasts? How do I do better videos? How do I communicate and engage? And how do I inspire and motivate in a better way? And that's what I'm going into 2022 with. But I, I wanted to ask you one more time for you, the person watching this. That dream, that goal. I don't care how far away it seems right now. You got to keep pushing. You got to. Nobody else is going to do it for you but you. So please don't give up on that dream. Don't. We need more thinkers. We need more innovators. We need more people out there trying. 
I believe in you. You got friends and family, in a, maybe even a small circle, but it's still a circle. You got people out there that do believe in you and they want to see you do better. So the question is, do you want to do better for yourself? And you can do it. You can do it. I love you guys. I look forward to this whole new year with y'all. And of course, as always, I'm going to tell y'all, you know, come find me on TikTok. Come find me on, uh, well, I mean, you're already here, but YouTube and stuff, whatever. And I plan on doing an Instagram at some point this year. I, I never hardly do Instagram, but I'm going to try my best to start writing stories and putting stuff on there. And hopefully that does something for somebody. We're we going to try. I've never been a big Instagram person, but I mean, maybe we'll see. Maybe something will come from that. Maybe it won't. We just, we got to try. We've got to try. We got to start trying our best to do more if we want more out of life. I love you guys. Thank y'all for stopping by. Let's get it. Let, let's get let's get after 2022. Let's get it. Let's hit the ground running and let's make some things happen with our jobs, with our wives, with our lives. How are you trying to be better? I know you want to be better. I know you want to do better, but how are you trying to be better? How are you trying to do better? And the final questions I want y'all to ask yourself is will we leave out of this video. I love you guys. I'll see y'all in another video. Your good friend, Justin. I'm out for now.